Welcome back, everyone. We're on the loading screen again, because you know what time it is. Time for... For... Let's play Faster Than Light. With me, Rainboy20. And who knows, this episode we may actually see the boss. After I take a sip of tea. Let's continue. Let's see. We have enough to pierce up to three layers of shielding and weapons, an Otimus, and not much else. We had an unshotted nebulae. Let's go. Well, this is just a neutral message, because I don't feel like reading neutral messages. Let's see. Terrible. Okay. Terrible. Terrible. Okay. And another neutral message. You know what? How, how much? You know what I'm gonna do? Let's up the power bar again, and we're gonna jump into one of these uncharted regions just to see what I can do. It may look like all his powers are activated, but he can't physically do this. Yeah, see? So let's see. Burst Laser Mach 3. Let's see, what do I power down? I don't need this. I definitely do not need this. Um, I think I'm going to put... Hmm. Burst Laser Mark 3, that could really hurt. I'll fully power up the shields, and basically nothing bad will happen to me. Well, I can hit him. Well, not nothing bad could happen, but very little bad. You understand what I want to say. And turn that down. I'll let that Burst Laser Mark III charge up. It may be five shots, but there's at least a one in five chance that the shots will miss. And it hit a completely useless spot. Ah, I see what's going to happen now. He's going to keep powering up his drones and droids and such. And there's the system repair droid. I think I can get this guy. I can't. I forgot. Oxygen's off. Mm. Okay, I'll just boost the evade chance and hope I hit. Curses. Warning. Eh, I'd rather not be in this situation. Actually, wait. Power this down. Mm, take power off of this. Power this up. And I'll have the Artemis just... What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Burst laser. And power up the engines. I'm not jumping. If I can avoid it, I'm not jumping. I'm just going to turn auto-fire on and just keep attacking his weapons. I'm just not going to let him power those things back up. And when he has that turned off... Because shields are useless when we're dealing strictly with, uh, whatever. I, I forgot what that's called. I'll just turn on everything else. Can't fire the heavy laser. Stop. Um, power these down, part the shield. There we go. Um, what should I do? I really want scrap. I don't have a need for missiles as of yet. 
And drone bots are worthless. We won't accept your surrender. Die. 35 scrap, one missile, and one drone pot. Much better a deal. I'm drinking far too much tea for this. Uh, I don't want to buy anything. Not really. I have no real need to buy anything. What I do have a need for, however, is go repair the ship, please. Like I said, I'm drinking far too much tea for this. It's weird how your own ship's sensors don't work in a nebula field. I'm not sure about that design choice, but eh, I can understand it to an extent. Not just, uh, I'm just not certain of it. Um, we shall go check out this spot. Should be a much more even fight. You jump to a calmer part of the nebulae. However, your relief fades as a rebel scout jumps to the beacon and moves into attack. Oh gosh. Okay, good thing I've got all this power. The missile may be all but useless. Off auto fire, and I'm just going to focus my attempts to try to harm that and maybe hit that end. Maybe hit the engine first with the hull laser. Perfect. It's exactly as I wanted. Oh wait, I can always power that up too. Oh dear. Okay, um, hit the engine, and hit the burst laser again. That was great. Give me more events like that. Bleah. The ship explodes, leaving behind some statue collection of useful scrap material. One fuel, one missile, 32 scrap, and a defense drone. Oh. Well, I'm, I would get greedy, but I don't trust myself. Plus, I'm running lower and lower on fuel. You discover, you discover a cluster of Federation refugee ships taking shelter in the folds of the nebula. I'm sorry we've got nothing to give you, but we need scrap to keep the engines running. You sense they'll strike a trade. Hi-ho! Straight up upgrade we go. Damage per shot, 4, requires one missile instead, hence why I have a problem with these giant weapons. I don't understand why one thing can take one missile and then get a straight-up upgrade and then take two. Three power requirement, which is going to be something I might have to work around regardless. Fire chance, low. Breach chance, high. Basically, this will keep piercing holes in the enemy armor, and this would be a very useful thing to have. Question is, can I afford it? Yes. Even more so? Yes. Give me. Now. I will buy that off of you. And then I'll take all your fuel, and then please repair my ship to an extent. Now. Good news, once this comes off, everything comes back online. We have two extra power, so if I wish... Boys weapons. Now, I can't afford any higher weaponry, but if I do this, I have access to a breach missile. It's an incredibly useful thing that if I have access that if I had access to earlier would make my life so much easier. As you wait for a moment, as you wait for the FTL drive to charge, you half expect to be ambushed. However, no attack comes. Hmm. I can definitely make multiple jumps before the rebel ships find me. An advanced automated rebel ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station, however, without functioning sensors, it is impossible to tell what's inside. It does not have cloaking. We'll attack you. Cute. Combat drone. Combat drone. Ah, they're both next to useless. I would not like fighting these things. And our evade chance goes higher as our captain ranks up to 2, which I think increases evade chance by 10%. I'm not going to bother firing the burst laser, there's no point. What I will fire... 
Mm. Hit the shield, please. And that's the glory that is a breach missile. Take out their shields, gentlemen. And our engines come online. Be even better. We now have a 40% evade chance regardless. And as you can see, it's coming in handy. Good game, ship. Good game. You salvage what you can. 32 scrap. I'm sorry. I had to stop because I kind of squealed a bit. A Burst Laser Mark III. This game decides to hand them out like candy after I claimed I would pay a galaxy for them. Thank you. And I think I've got the drone recovery on? No, I don't. Oh well. Okay. I accept. I accept your offer, game. And raise you going to another location in your order. With your sensors down, you spend a good deal of time staring out the window. It is, you must admit, rather beautiful here. <laughs> Hold up. How much does it cost to... Far too much to power. Far too much. I'll ditch the heavy laser as soon as I get to a different location. Um, I think I'll jump to a different... One more location. Just trying to build up some more scrap before I go. Crud. A manta ship lost in the storm hails you. Sensors are out. We have no local telemetry. We will take yours. You detect a power increase in the weapon systems. Bastards. Okay, they're in the door control. Who will go? I recommend you go. And I will troll them. Actually, what am I doing? You have NG medbot dispersal. Oh. Oh, 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 they don't, they can't even pierce our weapons array. Well, Mantis really do hurt. It does not matter. We will hit your... I don't know what we'll hit. I guess we'll start off and hit the Spaceman Craig location. And then you come out of there. After those shots hit, get in there. We can we can manage. We can manage. You go over there and take the pilot seat. You get no, you don't close. You get in there. No, you get in there. Micromanagement! The game, everybody. I'm not gonna have you die. You get out. And you go back in. No, we're not jumping. In fact, we might not even let these mantises leave. Manti leave. Okay, they returned. Everyone back to stations. And hit weapons. And that's another breach. And without the ability to go to their pilots. I'm gonna have Kletskin work on this. I think he's a weapons array man now. I'm not really making efficient use of these missiles, but maximum go healed, get up there, shield go, get over there. Build a weapons like you're supposed to. Okay, let's actually take down their shields for once. I'm sorry, this is the end of the line. No damage whatsoever. One missile or under on part 44 scrap. My ship is turning to be a monster. I apologize if you're frightened by it. What do I do now? What do I do? What do I do? Do I want more missile or weapons arrays? One more would 
permit me to not really do anything. I could power up a heavy laser if I felt like it, doing one more. Um, do I really want to risk it? Because I don't know if I can jump from there to there. It would make sense to be able to, but I don't feel like trying my luck. We've raided more than enough equipment. I think I should go. Do I want to, though? Do I want to? We'll go. We'll see what we get at the exit. No point in wasting the scrap. The long range beacon is almost hidden, and we can just jump to the next sector. NG Homeworlds. Precisely what I was looking for. Our homeworld is invaluable. We've arrived in NG space. Yada yada yada. Hang on, jump to see. We have a store right off of that, and there's asteroid field. I'm not gonna go there. I don't know if the special thing I'm looking for is in the asteroid field. Kill scrap ours, our weapons for you. You realize you're about to raise your shields when you realize it's an NG trader looking for a trade. Now, automated reloader, nice. FTL recharge booster, nice. Drone control would be great, but I'm not looking for that anymore. And the shield charge booster, nah. I don't care much for it. First things first, I need to buy this. Second, now, since I've got all the fuel I'm gonna need to conceivably get through the sector, yes, I'll be able to make it to at least sector seven, which, eh. I will do the first thing first, but the first thing that's most important, upgrade this. This gives me enough power to hmm, consider the, not enough power. Okay. Ship. No. Accept. Stall. I will sell you the heavy laser. Thank you. Close. Ship. I will buy another one of these. As this gives me the required power. Instead of having to use breach missiles, I can just keep using a burst laser. And I feel happy. I feel very, very happy now. The only thing that could be better than this is if I get a weapon pre-igniter. You arrive at a populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship to aid him. Shall we respond? Yes. Great. I was worried no one would respond. My usual carrier is days late. I need you to deliver the cargo of drone pass to a small station a few jumps from here. I'll pay you a bit of scrap now, but they surely will tip you generously. We'll accept. Great. I, upload the I uploaded their location to your star map. I'm running out of options, so I have no choice but to trust you'll do whatever what you have what you have agreed to. Eh, we have a quest marker. We have another store. I think I will go to the store, pick up a few more bits of fuel, and then drop off at the location. NG an NG ship hails engine upgrades are necessary for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrade. Duh. What? 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 You're in your home world, son. I think you're lost. I think you need to upgrade your head, but I'm not going to bother. And you're trading humans. I'd like to know why. I'd like to know why. And I'll buy some more fuel off of you, but I don't think I have much more point to being here. So let's go to the quest, and we'll bugger into the distress later. You arrived at the location given you by the merchant, you're surprised. It's supposed to deliver drone pods to a station here. You find the station, and they respond to your hails immediately, saying, It took you long enough. We, pract we have practically no use for these now. I refuse to pay full price. Take this and leave in our cargo. Weapons. Remain silent, but power up your weapons. <laughs> I want to try this. You make a good point. You have traveled all the way out here to fulfill our request, despite what you must in a difficult scenario to cause such a delay. Here, we'll even tip you for the inconvenience you must have gone through. Two fuel, five drip pots, sixty scrap. I could have screwed myself out of the, uh, NG ship, but I think that was worth it. Um, ship, let's see here. What can I upgrade? Do I want to upgrade? Yes, I do. I want to get shields rank four now. Let's go to the distress beacon, because I think I could survive blows for a while. A small civilian ship flies over as soon as you arrive. You're prepared to 
fight, but they just informed me that out of FTL fuel and kept the jump. Let's give them fuel. You give them the fuel. Thank the gods. We can finally get out of here. We're jumping straight home, so take this extra weapon. We won't need it, hopefully. Burst laser mark two. If you can't tell, I'm silently nodding my head back here. I'm just silently nodding my head. I have no other thing but to do that. No other choice, I mean. <laughs> there must have been rich pickings for pirates around here to here up until the war broke out. The pirate you encounter here looks worn down but hungry. You'll have to fight. Um, good luck, son. You won't be able to kill me. Especially with that paltry ship of yours. What is it called? Eh. Your name is Mud, nothing more. I don't know how many shots you can pull off, but I don't think it's gonna be enough to kill my ship. Yeah, see? Now, here's a real ship for you. <laughs> uh, that was more than worth it. That was way more than worth it. We can now overkill weapon systems just by sheer willpower alone. Now then, that's a nice engine, that's a nice uh, thing you've got there. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. <laughs> you get a frantic message, take everything we have, just don't kill us. Uh, I guess I'll accept your offer, seven missiles is actually quite expensive, and the 30 scrap I'd like. Um, we have a spider web out here. What do I want to do now? I'm playing rude life because I really don't know what I want to do. These missiles I'm going to keep no matter what. I'm probably going to sell off the extra burst laser. There's no reason for me to have it. Even though each individual NG is made up of trillions of machi nano machines, their culture still revolves around traditional social interactions. Nearby stations will be constructed for entertainment of passing NG travelers. I don't want to know what your entertainment may be, but I don't think I'm going to remain here much longer. I'm running low on fuel, and I think I've bought everything from the stores. We arrived, and while we could repair our damages, but eh. You see a small station fitted with hundreds of repair drones. You receive an automated message. We don't know who you are, and we don't care, but this is the right place for some ship repair. Eh, we'll ignore the station. To the civilian sector, we didn't see the stealth ship that I wanted. Welcome to the new sector. Get to the exit beacon and jump to the next sector before the pursuing rebels catch you. Eh, I might have to go through this because I need the fuel. And if I run out, well, let's just say not good things happen to those who falter. However... I think this is worth it. Nearly 50% dodge chance. Good luck. You detect a rebel automated ship nearby. It does not engage and seems to be patrolling around the long range sensor station. Perfect. Good luck, sir. Good luck. You'll need it. I doubt he's going to be able to fire off all of his weapons and, in fact, hit my ship with every single one of them. The glories of having a ship like this. It's been a while since I've had a god ship. Unfortunately, I doubt I'll be able to do much of it. I'm getting quite annoyed by your shenanigans. I don't think I approve of the fact that you have something like this. Wow, you're joking. Right side, you can't keep it powered. If you watch my ship, you'll see how relatively minor damage I've received is. Now, don't do that again. Good. Now, as for your weapons, I don't approve. I really don't approve. And as for your ability to run, aww, you don't approve either. Well, too bad, you don't have to approve. I'll just mass weapon fire you to death. Your access to the recent scans from the unguarded station? Your map has been updated with details of the surrounding area. 31 scrap as well. 
Thank goodness. We're gonna go to the store right away, because as you can see, I only have one jump left. A ship engineer has set up a small shop here. Buy all the fuel. And I think I'll sell the second burst laser, because I don't think I can mass up it. Man. Breach missile, burst laser, breach missile, burst laser, breach missile, burst laser, burst laser. And we'll jump to the next store. I want to buy all the fuel I can get. There's only one other ship this beacon, and it's showing heavy damage. You receive a message on your console. Greetings, traveler. We were crippled by a band of pirates, and are now forced to sell our remaining valuable equipment to acquire the necessary supplies to get home. Hope that includes a lot of fuel. And you don't have anything else I want. Nor could I afford. Fudge. Run. Run very fast. You detect two ships, one chasing the other. Scanners show the pursuer is a pirate. Well, aid the dark civilian ship. Uh, what do you have that would actually make me scared? <sighs> Calm down. Nuke the ever-living heck out of this, and don't give them reprieve. Oh, you've got missiles too. Oh, that's amusing. No, I don't think I'm gonna let you. There we go. Fire. That did not shut down the... That's disappointing. That did not shut it down. It's not at all what I had wanted. And our shields have taken a hit. Why are we not dodging? Why are we not dodging at all? Why are we not dodging? That's what I want to know. Tell me why. Why are we not dodging? Burn that thing off. Thank you. Oh, you're joking. Repair this. We need it healed now before they heal this thing. Stop that. That's stupid. You shouldn't be able to do that. It's stupid. Come on. Now get over here and repair this thing. No, I'm not leaving this fight. I have won this almost fair and square. You're kidding! I have 35% dodge chance, and I haven't dodged a single missile. Alright, I'm out. That's stupid. I'm not dodging anything. I'm not remaining. A nearby space station hails you. Greetings, your arrival is most fortuitous. We... <laughs> most fortuitous. We recently came across some extra drones. If you... No. Reject your offer. That was too stupid for me to account. You get some combat experience. And you guys get to wait for an eternity. Too bad. Well, of course I had to encounter breach drones again, but I didn't expect it to be that horrible. And the audio is probably now killing you. Unfortunately, I don't... I think I know how have enough technical know-how to fix that. Ah well. Then again, luck does in fact play a huge role in this, so I really should have expected that. Eh, it's getting greedy. And Pomeroy, just repair this. And now he, you know, just go heal up faster. Go heal faster if you go there anyway. I'm not sure if the NG medbots stack with the uh, other effect. Uh, where should we go now? We should probably just jump into the nebula. It's hard to see why, but this beacon apparently is 
the tourist destination. One of the ships at the small station offering a deal. Two missiles for three drone pots. No. I'd gladly sell you my drone pots for those missiles. Even better for fuel, but eh. Unfortunately, I think we need to take the shorter way there because I need the fuel. So I'd rather try to encounter and see what I get. The Mantis ship did not teleport on here. I'm going to be so angry. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, did you change direction immediately? Mercifully. Good, you missed. Bad, you hit something that you weren't supposed to hit. Oh, that's cute. Now, can I actually hit you with both my burst lasers? Yes. And can you go deal with this? Yes. Get over here so we can actually get our dodge chance back up. And of course, you go heal. You go heal. Good, you missed like you were meant to. You're gonna hit them again in their weapons. Now go in there again. No more weapons for you. Good, this means I can actually cycle out whoever's weakest. Go. Get in. Pletson, actually, you just go out there and continue upgrade our weapon charts. You get in there and fight off the Manti. Thank you. Get up here, get down to shields. Now they've actually got weapons back online. Well, unfortunately, they charged up the wrong weapons. It's nice to constantly keep their weapons down, but they can't do a thing about it. It's even nicer when I don't have to send my men back to the health bay constantly. Thank you. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Two fuel, thank you. Two missiles and 42 scrap. Yeah, I guess I'll give you a bit of an extra long episode, because we're going to section 8 regardless. I'm just going to go drop by this nebula once more. You okay, there's nothing here. We might as well get going. Oh gosh, I forgot to repair door controls. You arrive at the long range beacon. A missile shoots across your bow when the jump is complete. You'll scan quickly reveal a ship with pirate markings pursuing an unknown vessel. The pirate hails you. Damn it, if we want... We weren't expecting company. Stay out of this and you could profit. What do you have? You don't have teleporters. You have a lot of hull lasers, but that doesn't concern me as much. Two fuel. Yeah, I know what happens next, so I'm gonna try to be a hero. Oh, you're cloaking. Go repair this, considering we're not gonna be able to do much about it when it hits. We might as well repair everything on board our ship. There we go. Mercifully. And of course, they... What? Oh, powered down our shields. That explains it. Alright. And that repairs door control to an extent. We're gonna do a bit of an insane tactic, considering we just constantly are healing, so... It's a bit of an insane tactic, but he'll constantly take damage, but the pot... This should wear out quickly. Fire on his weapons now. Of course. Of course he does that. Well, you know what? We'll go to the next. We'll go to the last stand. I'm not going to bother fighting this guy. That was stupid, though. And guess what? We're at the end. You arrive at the heart of the last Federation fleet. 
Your access codes get you past the initial security and direct feed of the capital ship's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? We'll explain our mission. Your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief among the officers. General Turzil of the NG Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. Explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the rebel flagship. Tully responds. It's settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off their warships, but you must succeed in destroying this flagship. We will refuel your ship now, and our stations will provide whatever help is possible. Good luck. Ten fuel. This, the last stand, the last stand of the Kestrel, the longest running ship we've had thus far. I have made it to this numerous times before, but I can never claim victory. Today will be this day. Well, not today. <laughs> I've got work to do elsewhere. But, next week, come join me as we fight the Rebel Mothership.